Thomas Matthew Crooks was able to be eligible to vote in his first presidential election this coming November, but instead authorities say he almost reshaped this election with a rifle as he was perched atop a roof outside Saturday's rally. And what investigators still don't know tonight is why. He's the man authorities say tried to assassinate former President Donald Trump. Thomas Crooks came from a suburb an hour south of Pittsburgh. He graduated from the local high school two years ago. Former classmates described him as quiet, even a loner. He wasn't like with the clique, so he was always had a, I guess, target on his back. What do you mean by that? Um, just being like bullied. Investigators say Crooks, who worked as a dietary aide at a local nursing and rehab center, used a rifle to fire at the president. That rifle traced to his father. Now, the Butler County Sheriff saying today they received calls about a suspicious person outside the perimeter of the rally and went looking to find that person. But initial calls didn't indicate the suspicious person had a gun. Crooks is registered as a Republican, but records show he also donated $15 to a progressive political action committee. The shooter's family is cooperating with federal investigators, according to an FBI official. Investigators tonight searching his family home and working to gain access to his phone as they search for a motive. And neighbors in the community in the video you just saw described him as a pleasant young man. They say they are absolutely shocked by what had happened. And one final note, the FBI tonight telling us they do believe that Crooks acted alone. In the newsroom, Stephen Quinn, 7 News.